Hi guys, right, um, first of all sorry that I can't be there, um, but I have done this video so you can take notes from this rather than just taking notes from a book. Um, so you listen to what I say, you can use the books as well, but please make sure you take notes and follow the tasks that I set for you. So last lesson we looked at um, the respiratory system and how it works. This lesson we're going to look at the immediate and long term effects of exercise on the respiratory system. Okay, so here are the lesson objectives. Um, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to um, identify the immediate effects of participation in exercise, the long-term effects of regular exercise, uh, or regular participation in exercise, and the effects of smoking on your respiratory system. Okay, so we know that the respiratory system is made up of lungs, your trachea, your bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. Okay, um, the, when you're exercising, Several changes will take place to your respiratory system. There are some immediate effects and there are some long-term benefits of exercise. Right, so the first effect um, is your breathing. So your breathing quickens and deepens when you are exercising. How greatly it is affected depends on how hard you are working. The harder you work, the more deeply you will breathe. However quickly the heart beats, um, it cannot carry enough oxygen, therefore not enough oxygen is reached in the lungs, which is why you need to breathe more deeply to take in more breath to get the oxygen to your working muscles. As we know, gas exchange takes place in our alveoli, so however much we breathe in goes into our alveoli and there it goes into the blood and then down to our working muscles. Now, as you can see, alveoli can be damaged and we'll look at that in a minute. Um, the main reason for this is if people do start smoking. Okay, the second and final media effect of exercise on your respiratory system is oxygen jet. You'll all experience this at some point, normally after some strenuous exercise such as sprinting. So, what is it? First of all, I'd like you to pause this and write down the definition from the book. Um, and then once you've done that, restart it and listen to my voice again. Oh, hello again. Okay, so oxygen, as you have just noted down, is the amount of extra oxygen required by the muscles during recovery from strenuous physical activity. So at the end, you'll be gasping for breath. That is when you're taking in your oxygen there. So strenuous exercise may result in the need for more oxygen than can be supplied through breathing. So therefore, we need to almost repay that debt. So after anaerobic exercise, oxygen debt occurs and deep gasps and breaths, breaths are there. Those deep gasps and breaths will enable you to get as much oxygen back as you possible taken into your respiratory system and therefore help your breathing rate return to normal. Now, the more efficient your respiratory system uh, is, the better your body will cope with oxygen debt and you'll recover more quickly. And obviously, if you have an efficient respiratory system, it also aids your cardiovascular system by providing a constant supply of your oxygen to your working muscles. That moves us on to the benefits of regular exercise on your respiratory system. So, after a sustained period of exercise, the benefits can include quicker delivery of oxygen to your working muscles, your carbon dioxide is removed quicker, that's the waste product, remember, and your vital capacity is increased as the whole respiratory system becomes more efficient. So how does it become more efficient, you ask? Well, more alveoli become available for your gas exchange um, after you've been regularly exercising for a while. Which means, obviously, more oxygen can be absorbed into your capillaries and therefore more carbon dioxide taken from them. As a result of that, your aerobic capacity is increased. So that is your, how hard you can work and how, how much your lungs can cope with exercise. And again, linked with the cardiovascular system, regular exercise can also increase the number of blood vessels, which will mean that you can absorb more oxygen into them from your alveoli. Moving on to that nasty habit that some people have, which is, if you ask me, pretty disgusting, but there we go. Right, so the effects of smoking on your, uh, your respiratory system. So smoking damages your lungs and especially your alveoli, making them less stretchy and less efficient. As a result of this, it becomes more difficult to get oxygen in and carbon dioxide out, and therefore they will become more short of breath. It will be harder to get oxygen to the working muscles, so the heart has to work harder as well. Um, and obviously, they will also get tired more quickly. This obviously will affect sports in a negative way. So if someone smokes and they take sport, their cardiovascular and respiratory system will be less efficient due to smoking. Okay, put your pens down, finish your notes. 
got a little task for you. Uh, hopefully in the room there should be some whiteboards so I'd like you to pair up, pick a few key terms, maybe uh, test each other on the points that you're not sure of, go through it. You can play Pictionary or Articulate if you want. Uh, spend four or five minutes going through that stuff with your partner and then come back to the video. Okay, hopefully that was a little bit useful for you. So in summary, we have looked at the immediate effects of participation in exercise, which are um, breathing, quickens and deepens, and then obviously you have the oxygen debt as well. We've looked at the long-term effects of regular participation in exercise as well. Uh, you've got increasing lung capacity, increased vital capacity, and an increase in your number of alveoli resulting in a more efficient respiratory system. And then we've also looked at the effects of smoking and how catastrophic they can be when you are taken by an exercise. And of course, yes, you do have homework. Okay, so if you can copy down the practice exam questions and complete them at the end of the section, they are on page... 135, so if you copied the question down from there, and then also I'd like you to create at least two of your own practical exam questions and you must create a mark scheme for them as well. Okay, happy homework, uh, you've got a really important exam coming up, so I hope you're prepared. Thank you and goodbye.